Well, hello, my friend, and welcome to my channel. Today, I've got Banggood's Liquid Nail Barrier Demo, and I'm going to be doing a gradient. It sells nail cream on the bottle, but it's a, like a latex or nail barrier product. So there's the SKU number. I will have information listed down below for you. I would like to thank Lily for sending this out to me to demo here on my channel. As you can see, it's kind of, I've got, I don't know if it comes in different colors, but mine's kind of like a little light green. And the application was really easy. It didn't gum up on me or anything. It was, it was, you know, an easy application, which I approve. <laughs> And I will be using this as my barrier for my gradient today. I'll be gradient, doing a gradient with some pastel looking colors. I'm going to start with Neltix Formula 2 and this Kiss Gel Strong polish called Mellowy, which is a light yellow, and Kiss Gel Strong's Peach Sorbet. Those were Dollar Tree finds. And I'm going to top it with Pro FX today. Now I'm doing one kind of a haphazard coat of the mellowy underneath and I'm sorry my camera's acting stupid there we go acting right now but I'm you know it's a haphazard base color um, you know I always like to use the lighter color when I gradient hi Woody how you doing so I'm gonna top it with some Pro FX quick dry top coat real quick to get it to dry down so I can do the gradient I'm a little impatient so I always slap that top coat on and get it to dry so I can get to the gradient part I am using a dampened makeup sponge that I've cut in half, and I'm using the two Kiss polishes that I showed you earlier. I saw these, and when, well, when I got them and I saw them side by side, I knew I wanted to do a gradient with them, and there we go. My nails are a little short, so I'm having to really kind of pay attention to where I'm placing that sponge on my nail, you know. it's it's. I'm used to them being a little longer than this, but I'm okay with having short nails. You know, it's a new new beginning, and you know, I'd rather them have them healthy and short than all patched up with glue and patches and stuff. So we're gonna play with it, and hopefully they'll grow out pretty quickly. So I'm just gonna keep applying these colors and just go over them until I'm happy with how the gradient looks. Um, I normally take it like a little too far. I normally go one or two more rounds past what would have been good. I don't want you guys thinking that if you try a gradient that they're all going to be, oh, I've got to make 10 passes over each nail. And that's really not the case. It depends on your nail polish. You know, some opaque, very opaque polishes, you could get away with just doing one round, maybe two, and have it totally covered. So it's, it's really all up to preference. And I'm an any, so, you know, I just kept going and going until I was happy. But these polishes did do really great. They went on the nail quite smooth. And, you know, that's that's always nice, you know, when they don't get all clumpy and goopy. So I'm, I'm pretty happy with this. And I figured they would be great for a gradient. Just love it, love it. And I also wanted to show that if you have shorter nails, you can still do gradients. You know, a lot of people get crazy trying to put too many colors on there. I prefer two, maybe three. I have done more than that on a gradient before, but you know, it's it, it just, it, to me, it kind of gets to be overkill. So I try to stick to two or three polishes, normally two. If y'all have watched enough of my videos, you know, I normally stick to two colors. Because in the middle they meet and they make a third color and that's perfect. So I am using a little piece of tape to peel off this liquid latex, which is what we were testing today. And um, I really do like it. It um, didn't stick on each other, um, you know, like my fingers didn't stick together. And, you know, and it came off pretty easy. So here I'm going in with my acetone, which I'm trying to spill everywhere. Thankfully the paper towel saved me. And cleaning up the tiny little tidbits that are left. The thing I did like about this liquid latex, I don't even know that it's latex. I keep calling it that, but I, I like this barrier because you can clean it up with latex also. A lot of times it like bubbles up and gums up and falls over onto your manicure and makes even more of a mess. This just came up really well. So I am top topping this with some Pro FX to get it to dry down again so that we can do some stamping. I had a little bubble in there, I had to pop it. <laughs> 
So we're ready for stamping. This is the L020 plate. I have no idea where this one came from. It's very possibly an AliExpress or, you know, something like that. I'll be stamping with that Sally Hansen Wild Strawberry from the Crayola Collection. And I'll be using my Fabio Nail Scraper and my AliExpress Rectangular Clear Stamper. I'm just going to use a couple of di or three or four different images off of the same plate and just kind of mix them all up on my nails. You know, feeling kind of paisley. And I wanted to stamp with a color other than black, white, gold, or silver. <laughs> I'm going to try to start using some of these other colors, especially since summer is coming and it's you know, use some summery bright colors. Get some ideas out there. Get some people thinking. But I don't, you know, I don't I just I just don't know. I do know that I like this manicure. Now putting the red over it did kind of detract from the gradient a little bit, but I can totally still see it, and I'm pretty happy with that. Um, originally I had planned on just doing this manicure for you all and taking it off and putting on something else but by the time I was done I decided nope I'm just gonna leave it and I'm gonna just enjoy it for a little while so as you guys know this girl's crazy do a manicure and wear it for you know half a day and then do something else so sometimes that's how it goes but you guys know I always have no polish on my nails so some of these manicures do stick and I actually wear them for a little while here we go. I believe this is going to be the last image. Yep, that's the pinky nail image. There we go. And I am trying to use the tape to get this up. And <clears throat> excuse me, it's not working really great. It's helping a little bit, and that's why I went ahead and did it. Um, you know. Sometimes it works great and perfect, and other times not so much. So I'm going to go in with that cleanup brush again and do a little bit of cleaning up with my acetone. And it, at least it is cleaning up really well and not just smearing and making my fingertips look all red or pink. You know, got to get up underneath too. I always make a mess under there too. There we go. Cleanup is done. Looking better. I'm going to top this one with some posh top coat. There we go. Nice, glossy top coat to seal that design in. And we're going to have to break Woody out again. Hi, Woody. And do a little bit of cleaning. And here is my final manicure. My swatch photos coming up. I hope you enjoyed this one. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you think about it. Thanks for watching. And until next time, be good to yourself. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.